just three years after the first production car beat the 10 second quarter mile, there's a car closing in on breaking the nine second quarter mile. And it's an electric, and it's not a Tesla. Being the first out of the gate with the modern electric car, Tesla has been the unbeatable front runner for battery electric vehicles. So far, no one has been able to match both their range and performance, until now. Startup Lucid has taken their upcoming air to the track and did the unthinkable, a record-making run of 9.245 seconds. Let's see what that means for Lucid and Tesla and who will come out on top. Tesla completely changed the landscape of the auto industry with the Model S. Sure, their Roadster was their first car, but the Model S sedan helped them move from novelty car maker to leader of the segment they just invented. One of the things that helped make the Model S a success was that it wasn't just a luxury sedan, it was also a performance sedan. This is thanks in no small part to a quirk of electric motors. All of the torque comes on immediately and stays on. The revelation that electric cars can be performance cars has helped propel the development of electric cars, and Tesla has been eager to maintain their position as king of the hill. On their September 20th Battery Day event, Tesla took the wraps of their new Plaid Edition Model S, promising a sub-10 second quarter mile and a 520 mile range for $140,000. That should be enough to remain on top, right? It turns out, no. New EV startup Lucid has come out swinging with their new Air sedan. The Model S Plaid, a nod to the Star Wars spoof Spaceballs where Plaid was the next step past ludicrous speed. Spaceball 1. They've gone to Plaid comes after shots were fired when Lucid announced that their $140,000 Grand Touring Air would match Tesla's top range with a promised range of 517 miles. Last week, Lucid took a pre-production Air to the drag strip at Sears Point in Sonoma, California, and ran a 9.245 quarter mile with a trap speed of 157.3 miles per hour. 150 miles per hour, incidentally, is the trap speed where the National Hot Rod Association requires the cars to carry a parachute to stop the car after a run at the drag strip. If the idea of a 10 second quarter mile sounds kind of familiar, you might remember it as a plot point in the first modern Fast and Furious movie when they were still all about street car racers in LA. Brian owed Dom a 10 second car. I know what you're doing. I owe you a 10 second car. It's the benchmark for drag racers using street legal rides. To give you an idea of how hard that is, look at the production cars before now to crack that barrier. A Dodge Demon in perfect conditions managed it exactly once on racing fuel in 2017. Motor Trend managed to get a 9.7 second quarter mile out of a 2015 LaFerrari. The Dodge Demon is a special edition of the Challenger with a drag-tuned engine and narrow front tires, essentially a factor drag car. The LaFerrari is a hypercar and one of the fastest cars that Ferrari has ever made. And both of those cars are getting hustled at the track by a pair of sedans. There are a lot of battery electric cars on the market now, including city cars like the Fiat 500 and e-Golf from VW to long-range contenders for the Tesla Crown, including the Mustang Mach-E. They're not all gobbling up quarter miles in single-digit seconds. It's down to another advantage that electric cars have. Land speed and drag racers have long known the truth that if one engine is good, two engines are even better. There are no brakes on the adding engine train except for complexity. Last year, a truck called the Thor 24 married two V12 engines with 12 superchargers. Adding motors on an electric car, however, is a lot easier. Many EVs, Teslas included, employ two electric motors, one for each axle. If two motors are good, three must be even better. The Lucid Air and Model S both use a tri-motor setup. For the Lucid Air, this means a total of 1,080 horsepower, and the Tesla Model S, 1,100 horsepower. To put that in perspective, the Bugatti Veyron debuted with a paltry 987 horsepower and a 1,001 horsepower model took 10.4 seconds to clear the quarter mile with a trap speed of 139.9 miles per hour. A Formula One race car has 800 horsepower. With so many companies taking a swing at Tesla's crown, who is Lucid? And how did they come so far, so fast? The reality is, they've been around almost as long as Tesla, though not always as Lucid. Lucid spent the first 10 years of its existence as a Taiva, making drivetrains for other car manufacturers. So they're not exactly new to the idea of the electric car. Electric performance isn't new to them either. In 2018, they used the Ataiva moniker to develop, build, supply, and support the batteries for the Formula E series along with McLaren. After their 2017 decision to go from making the go bits of the car to the whole car, 
They went looking for funding and found it in one billion dollars. Yeah, that's billion with a B from the Saudi Arabia Sovereign Wealth Fund. With that, Lucid was able to invest $700 million in a brand new manufacturing facility in Arizona. So what will the Air be, and will it be able to keep up with the Tesla Plaid? Just like the Model S, the Air comes in a few flavors. The base starts at $80,000 with Touring, Grand Touring, and Dream each notching the price up to $170,000 for the range-topping Dream. The Dream is the one tearing up the drag strips in Sonoma, just two and a half hours from Laguna Seca where Tesla ran the Plaid on the famous road course to a 1 minute 30 second lap time, just two seconds shy of the McLaren Senna hypercar. EVs have been running two motors for a while now, but 2021 will see three motors become the latest thing. Joining the Air and the Model S, the Cybertruck and Audi e-tron will both offer three motors. Two motors join forces running the rear axle, while a single motor provides an assist up front. If you're thinking, why stop there? You're not alone. Porsche has tested a quad motor setup for their Taycan, and EV pickup contender Rivian has a quad motor setup for their R1T that allows the pickup to spin in place like a tank. So how much do these records really mean? The answer is a frustrating as much as you want them to mean. But Tesla and Lucid are both doing these tests on their own. They're not independent tests. The other thing to take into consideration is the conditions of the testing. The best illustration of this is to go back to that Dodge Challenger Demon sub 10 second run. The fact that the Demon comes out of the box rigged for quarter mile runs over grocery runs is immaterial. That's the car people are buying. There were other conditions that didn't constitute normal out of the box behavior. First of all, 100 octane racing fuel was used. Drag tires on a drag race surface were employed, and three of the four seats were removed. Then there was the hard-to-replicate conditions, what Motor Trend details as mineshaft air. Low barometric pressure, similar to being 650 feet below sea level. The run happened once, no press cars were handed out to duplicate the run, and that was that. The Demon did a 9.7 second quarter mile under special conditions. This doesn't really take anything away from the Demon's run, it's built for the drag strip. Finding the best possible circumstances for a run down the drag strip is intended use. Just don't expect to turn in your own 9.7 seconds without a little assist. Similarly, the Lucid Air is an early production prototype running on Pirelli P0 tires. In the video, they're running 265mm up front and 285 in the rear, and like the Demon, it was missing some of the seating. However, current pictures of the Air show it sporting wide body flares where 285 arc compounds move up front and the rear gets 325S. That could mean that should Lucid take their Air back to the story drag strip in Sonoma, California, it's possible they could go even faster. So does this make the Lucid Air that much of a sought-after Tesla killer? No, not really. First of all, that marginal speed advantage comes at $30,000 premium, almost enough to buy a spare Model 3. Also, just like with the claims made about the Plaid, these are pre production claims by the two manufacturers and not figures that have been replicated by independent reviewers. But finally, it might be that Tesla has solidified itself as the benchmark. The Lucid Air isn't the first car that promotes itself by comparing its stats with Tesla, and it won't be the last. Tesla ultimately benefits by having this kind of competition and more EVs on the road in general, especially when they're the rabbit that everyone else chases. Regardless, whether you choose the Model S Plaid Edition or the Lucid Air Dream, you're bound to have more fun in a sedan than than anyone would have thought. That's the Lucid Air Dream's record run at the drag strip. Can Lucid dethrone Tesla? Let us know in the comments, and while you're there, be sure to subscribe to the richest for the latest videos to your inbox. Thanks for watching.